Hey guys, what's up? Jump starting hybrid car. It could sound a little tricky, but I can assure you it is not. Now, if we pop the hood in a hybrid or electric car, most of the time you're not going to find a 12 volt battery nowhere around here close, right? In case of hybrid cars, if you come over, you find right here in the left side of the vehicle, a fuse box that once we take this off, you're going to find this red little cap. Once you open it up, you will see that this is your main positive or a full connection directly with the 12 volt battery. Now, unfortunately I have a problem with my car. I left one of the lights on completely on during the night and then the battery drained. So I am going to use one of my favorite toys that I just got, which is the Avapov A68. The jump started, you won't believe it, but this is actually a 32,000 milliamp hour lithium battery with 6,000 amps of peak current is a beast. It's even capable to start a diesel car. So I want to jump start the vehicle, but how do I make the proper connections to jump start a hybrid car? Well, this is the main positive connection that you're looking for. Look right here in this metal plate, you're going to connect the main positive. What about the negative? Well, the negative, you just need to connect it to chassis ground, which where can we find a good chassis ground? It could be a ball directly to chassis and that's it, we're fully connected. Yeah, but before doing that, I wanna make sure if by chance the battery is discharged, we're going to see most for sure a potential difference. So therefore there's going to be current flow. Let's see if that is true. Let me connect it right here to chassis ground. Let's see if we have current flow. Well, the current flow is actually tiny. This means that I already jump started my vehicle, so therefore the battery is fully charged. So the difference is practically none. Now, once you connected your jump start into the main positive or hotline and negative to chassis ground, the vehicle is ready to start. So it's time for me to start the vehicle. Here we go. All right. Starting the vehicle in three, two, one. We put it on ready mode. That's it. The vehicle is in ready mode meaning that the vehicle is fully started. Remember, this is a hybrid car, so you won't hear anything. So this is the proper way how to jumpstart a hybrid and electric car. If you don't find the 12-volt battery someplace around here, most for sure it's under the fuse box. Some of the e-power cars has located over here, electric cars as well. It doesn't matter. You just need to find the red cap. That means that is your 12-volt battery. Now, the good thing about a smart jump starter is that the contactor between the battery and the jump starter or the alligator clips it's completely open, meaning that you won't see absolutely no current flow, only until you need it. So I will continue with my vacation. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. If you want to know more, stick around for this. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to the river. You wanna come? Okay, so you wanted to see the river? Let's go.